Welcome to the Irish Farmers Journal Weekly Podcast, brought to you by Ornua, the home of Irish dairy. Shane Murphy here, Petty Editor of the Farmers Journal, and I'm joined by Frida Canarney, the Secretary for Tullamore Show, which has happened on the 14th of August, just a week and a half away. The Journal's got a big focus on it this week with 16 pages packed of all the goings on. So you're very welcome, Frida, to show 25th anniversary this year. How long have you been secretary for? I have been the official role of secretary for about 20 years, which sounds a long time, but it is a long time, but uh, it has flown. And you've been involved since the start, kicked off there back in 91. I was indeed, yes. I would have been helping out in the cookery section and volunteering in that. So as the years progressed, my role progressed a bit. So uh Main sponsors, AIB, I suppose they've been a big part of getting the show to where it is today. How long have they been part of it? This would be their 12th year. We would have taken on the role of the National Livestock Show, which would have been formerly in the RDS in Dublin in, I think, 95. So we would have had a main sponsor in then with the Irish Distillers, and then the AIB came on board with us then as title sponsor of the National Livestock Show. We have a huge working relationship with them and that sort of stuff. So it works extremely well. And it's something you definitely need with the shows going forward. You see, Oh, absolutely. So Absolutely. There. 25 years, relative to other shows, it's only a baby, I suppose. There's a lot of other shows there going off 100 years. What is it that made Tullamore just kickstart straight from day one? I'd say the timing of the event was maybe a huge success because, as I say, starting in 1991, and it would have been a local show. And I know the people that were involved in that time, particularly Chris to me, had huge visions for the show and would have put the work in to develop it. And we were lucky then, we said, that the National Livestock Show became part of our programme when it did in '95, And it was a huge support in getting people on board with us in sponsorship and exhibiting and that so and it has progressed and uh, there's huge support for it now and I know we'll say our coveted gold medal for the champions of the different breeds now is something that's very sought after and that so it has built and it has supported we've worked very hard to keep the freshness there and keep developing it all the time and that you're talking about livestock there we're saying of the thousand competitions held at Tullamore annually over 300 from cattle alone yes. and when you add in the sheep and your new attraction the pigs of yes. course you've got over 500 That's true. it's a massive part of it massive part of it we just got through cattle wise what number is he up around this year well in total in the cattle we will have about 1800 cattle on the showground on the massive, day yeah. massive yeah and uh, there will be about almost 600 sheep yes. so the National Livestock Show then you are talking way over 2,000 animals yeah. like competing and that's so granted the prize fund is huge, it is huge. Uh, due to the support of our sponsors and that but uh, even the support like from the entries, the cemented cattles in particular this time have exceptional, like there's over 200 entries, about 216 entries in there just in the cemental breed alone. And in the pedigree cattle section, which is one of the three cattle sections of the National Livestock Show, the cemental breed are one of 13 breeds. So the support across the board like is massive in that and we're delighted that and obviously the people appreciate having the event and the competing and you know it adds value to their stock so they benefit and we benefit in that. Just there you talked about the Smintel briefly. This year again the Smintel hold their national show every year isn't it? They do indeed yes. So th- yes. this is the biggest number they've ever had, this is the biggest record ever had, ever for had. any national show no matter Absolutely. where it was. Absolutely. So it's great to see that and the Hereford of course are having their national show there as well so we better give them the shout out as well. That is true, that <laughs> is true <laughs> and the, lim- the limousine we say would have had their national show with us for the last number of years but this year it's their World Congress yeah. it will be happening about two weeks later then in yeah. Kenny but with the plan is that they will be back. We do have the limousine section and there are very big numbers entered in that as yes. well in that I mentioned about the pigs your new interest this is your first year having pigs on site it how is you, how it you is. Fixed for it well we would have had a few before like, but they would have been just in the rare breeds and yeah. pet section and yeah. that, you know, for the I children the All Ireland final is what we are staging yeah. there has been qualifying classes at different shows around the country it's a whole new enterprise that has been developed our friends in the pig association are putting a lot of work into developing it so we would have I think there are eight classes and the finals of those then with the qualifying exhibits coming from the other shows will be taking place at our show and that yeah. Super job. I was actually talking to Dermot Allen during the week, the show's director for the society. That's right. And he said he's just delighted to get it to a site like Tullamore just for the yes. publicity and get the exposure. Yeah, we've worked piece. closely with Dermot and that he is putting great interest in promoting that into it. So we certainly hope it works very well uh, for them. And it's great to have people like that that absolutely, have a soul passion about absolutely, everything. Absolutely, yes, yeah. We're just going through a few other events on the day with the Mock Reform Skill All Ireland's are back to you again and we've got the fashion show which is hotly contested every year. Absolutely. <laughs> We're nearly heading on the lines of the Galway Best Dressed because this year for the first year we actually as part of 
of the winner's prize, there would be a thousand euro cash because normally the prize is in best dress and that tend to be vouchers. 60,000 is what you're kind of hitting on every year. Yes. Well, one of the big questions people probably have out there, we've got the Plowing Championships, which is a three-day event, the biggest agriculture one in Ireland, heading to Tullamore as well this year. That's right. Do you right. think that will take fewer numbers? I wouldn't think so because with our entries, with our trade stands, we've actually experienced this year, we unfortunately were not able to accommodate all the stands we had applications for, so we had to return quite a number. Even some people like that would have been regularly with us in other years, we didn't actually be in a position to facilitate them this year. So it certainly didn't, you know, hinder us in that way at all. The two events are hugely successful events as I said the national ploughing and people are used to going to both and they have different agendas and different briefs and they complement each other extremely well and the National Ploughing Association are involved with us in sponsorship and that this year so we work very closely together there is a good liaise between the people involved in all so we complement each other rather than compete. Today we launched the app for the Tullamore show how excited are you for this? Absolutely because I know I have downloaded it there myself and obviously we would have been working with you in building it and the people that have downloaded so far are amazed with it I was at a meeting last night now and we would have been talking about it and that and they're delighted there's a huge lot of information in there it's the type of information that you want at your fingertips and on the phone on the day when you're rambling around and obviously it will all help to the enjoyment of it so anybody looking for that it'll be on the play store and the itunes shop it'll be on the farmer's journal tullamore app thanks very much to frida for coming in uh, everybody going to butterfield estate and bluebell on the 14th of august be sure not to miss it thank you The Irish Farmers Journal Weekly Podcast, brought to you by Ornua, the home of Irish dairy.